Uh, good morning. This is North Carolina Prepper. Uh, good morning, everybody. I want to talk about <clears throat> a very important thing called your eyes and your eyesight. Uh, a lot of people stock a lot of things for emergencies, but they don't stock, um, you know, glasses. You know, when I was younger, my my eyesight was very superior to what it is now. I have the typical, you know, you're in your 40s and 40 year old eyes and I don't know. I forget what it's called, but basically my arms aren't long enough to, or my arms are too short to to read certain things. I get by fine with over the counter, uh, you know, Walmart reading glasses or or whatever. And I have about a dozen pairs. <clears throat> but some I keep steel. But for example, this is like um, ones I never ever use. I hate these. I hate them. I hate them. But I have them. They're bifocals. They're progressive bifocals, and I hate them. But what I do a lot is I keep them with my first aid kit. I keep a pair of glasses in there. Uh, just cheap ones I've got from uh, Zini Optical. And basically, um, <clears throat> you, if you want to stock up, you need to order glasses for your pres current prescription. Um... Your older ones might not help so well. Uh, you have to get used to them over again, and it really sucks. Um, basically, I get a new script every two years, if needed. Um, it tends to change a little bit, and the older ones like hurt my eyes, so I have to get used to them again. So I, I just put them away. You know, and they, they become trading items if I ever need to, or I need to help someone out, or whatever. But but they get hard to. They get hard for me to wear after a while. I'm going to put this back down here. If you can see it. There. Like I said, the other ones I just keep in the first aid kit. Wrapped up in tissue paper. Next to the tweezer assortment. Because I never know. If I'm going to work for a splinter, it's really helpful if I can actually see the damn thing. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, get them and store them. Now, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, I can't do it. It's too expensive or whatever. Or, you know, every, I don't know, every couple of years, oops, there we go, every couple of years I, I buy things and they're really expensive. So here's what you need to do, or here's what I'm thinking you do. Go to your current optometrist, or go to Walmart or whoever has one, and make sure it's a good one. Um, get a, get a new script prescription for your current for your current eyesight, what you need. And generally they're good for about two years. But if you go to places like Zini Optical, uh, you can buy them really cheap. And they probably take your old your old scripts. You know, they're probably good forever. It's online. But um, I ordered for Zini Optical. It cost me about 40 bucks for four pairs of single vision glasses. Now my insurance would gives me a, you know one discounted pair. It costs me about sixty bucks every two years. And they're high quality, but still. Um, yeah, just just get your prescription from from the eye doctor and go online and order them. They're really cheap. You can get all kinds of styles, all the tinting and all that transitions and high indexing and all that good stuff from Zeni Optical. They've been really good to me. I think they're in China. You can get glass or plastic or whatever, but but your vision is what you got. And once you lose your vision, you're pretty much screwed in a survival situation. Um. Yeah, uh, you know, as a as a statement of fact, uh, Teddy Roosevelt took um, twelve pairs of glasses with him to Cuba during the Spanish American War, and that included pairs that he actually had sewn into his uniform. Up at the charge of uh, Sand Kettle? Yeah, Sand Kettle Hill. So, you should Google it. Get your own glasses. I'll do a, uh, <clears throat> a video maybe later today or whatever. i got to find an old pair of frames. And I'll make something called pinhole glasses. You might want to Google that too. If the shit has really hit the fan, you're completely screwed. As in, you crashed on a desert island and you're the only guy left alive. Um... And your glasses break, or the Twilight Zone where the guy breaks his glasses. 
you can actually make glasses out of duct tape by poking little holes in them or, or folding the duct tape over the, over your uh, lens or yeah over your lens or over the frame and making little holes it's uh, it's a lensing effect you can do this now at home you can take a leaf and poke a hole in it if you're an island or if you're now just poke a hole in some paper or index card and hold it up and you'll see it'll bring things into focus and unlike bifocals it's not you know at certain fixed lengths these little pinhole glasses will will make it at all lengths and relative vision. The smaller the hole, the sharper the vision. The bigger the hole, the wider the vision, the field of view. But just do a bunch of small pinholes, you know, a whole bunch all over the eye. And the lensing effect will allow you to see where you couldn't. It's kind of neat. Sometimes if I'm out and about, I need to read a street address or something that's like really far away and I'm coming up on it. I'll, I'll make a, I'll take my finger and I'll go like that and look through the hole in there. And, um, you know, just like that. Look through the knuckle or whatever, the top part, and look through it, and you can actually see through the thing with the lensing effect. But anyway, this North Carolina Pepper. Um, keep a pair of glasses with your, you know, your first aid kit. You know, I keep them. I keep, oops. I break them. I keep it in here right in the top. And, you know, first aid kit. And, um, yeah. I put that away and I'm good to go. Okay, it's North Carolina Prepper. You guys have a great day and food for thought.